Hello, this is Tom Zarenskis, and uh, this is a quickie tutorial about uh, how to spell the 40 sounds of U.S. English. Yes, with these 40 sounds, you can spell any word phonetically. There are 23 consonants. Here you see the consonants divided into holdable and non-holdable consonants. There are eight of eight of these and hold uh, non-holdable and eight hold uh, 15 holdable and you have uh, 20 uh, 17 uh, uh, vowels and the vowels are the most flexible um, uh, sounds the consonants are pretty stable but what we've got here with the vowels are five long vowels and they're recognized by silent E moved over next to the vowel it makes long. So that's A, E, I, O, and U. And next we have the short vowels, A, E, I, U, and A. Uh. The double O is the U uh sound. I call that the short O. It's uh, called the, sh the short double O in traditional spelling and then we have the r influenced vowels air er or and we have the diphthongs oi and ow and we have the twins the ah or twins ah and aw which are transposed a lot of times in words for instance the, the word fog could be fog in certain accents so here's what we can do with these as a practice method. We could take the F here. I have the F X'd, X'd out as selected and the B as selected and put them in here. It uh, propagates down the columns and we ha make words over here. <clears throat> For instance, fabe, phoebe, phobe, phobe, phobe. Fab, feb, fib, fub, fub. Ferb, verb, forb, foib, faub, fob, and fob. So there we have practiced all of the vowels and two of the consonants. Now, a lot of the consonants are pretty self evident. The ch, d, uh, let's, we can practice the g, j, k, p, t, and, um, we have, now here's an asterisk next to the h, the h sound. The asterisk means that the sound is not at the end of a word. Uh, the y sound, um, spelled phonetically by y and the v sound spelled phonetically by w. Uh, don't work well at the end of words. So let's try the SH and the G sound. We'll put them in. S, H, and the G sound. And we get shag, shig, shag, shog, shug, shag, shag, shig, shug, Shug, sherg, shurg, shorg, shoip, shoig, shog, shog, and shog for those sounds. Now, the, there are a couple of sounds to practice. Here are two sounds. The, uh, this is the voice th, th, and this is the unvoice th. Th. So let's try those sounds out. And try, try it with a T. And we get theit, 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 thoat, thoot, that, that, thit, thut, thut. Thert, thert, thort, thoit, thout, they, that, 
and dot. Now, if we make that the other sound spelled by th, the unvoiced th sound, we get fate, feet, fight, thought, thoot, fat, fet, fit, foot, thut, fair, thir, thert, thirt, thort, thoit, thout, thought, and thought. So you can see these are these two sounds are both spelled by letter string th in in regular spelling and what is interesting is the uh, unvoiced th so, uh, sound is in more words in the dictionary but the voice th sound is in the word the the and that very popular words it shows up three times three to four times more often in on a page than the unvoiced sound so here is the a couple of rare ones uh well not z the z sound but z h z sound is the rarest sound in the english language um let's put them both in And practice them. Uh, that would be zaj, zij, zaj, zoj, zuj, zaj, zaj, zij, zuj, zaj, zerj, zerj, zorj, zoj, zauj, zaj. And zoj. A very rare sound. Uh, I like it. You can hear it in the word vision and measure, words like that. It pops up in. And the letter Z is an interesting uh, letter at the end of the word. Let's go over that. And uh, let's pick one of these that. Uh, how about J? J is a uh, kind of a rare sound. <clears throat> what happened there? I thought I picked a Z alone. Oh, it auto-selected. Okay, so we have J's, G's, J's, Joe's, Jews. Notice that a lot of times in traditional spelling, you'll see a letter S at the end of the word. And that is most often pronounced by the Z sound rather than the S sound. Jazz, jazz, jizz, juz, juz, jers, jers, jors, joys, jows, jaws, and jaws which in traditional spelling would be J-A-W-S, but that S is pronounced as a Z. Well, thank you very much. I'm Tom Zarenskis again. Here is my email address. And you, there are, uh, TrueSpell is free at TrueSpell.com. Uh, there are free tutorials and there is a free converter. Just paste a paragraph in the converter and see it respelled in TrueSpell.